we can't wait the cast the crew everybody's just super excited about the launch um kings of Joburg is on netflix this friday do not miss it i hope you set your reminders we're all excited it's going to be great you won't be disappointed my husband came up with uh, with the concept of kings of Joburg. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to the premiere of Kings of Joburg Season 2. My name is Zorisa Kaluva and I play Mo Masire. We're going to have a good time, so please follow me. Hello, I'm Zansi and welcome back to another video with us. If you're here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel. This helps our channel grow and tells YouTube to keep recommending our videos. And if you've already subscribed, thanks for joining us for another video. We're so excited to talk about Kings of Jersey, which airs today on Netflix. This is season two. And today's video, we're going to give you a quick recap so you don't have to go back and watch season one to catch up so that you can watch season two and be in sync with everybody else and not miss out on all the hype that this is going to bring. Remember, this is going to be the first time that the season airs after the passing of Shauna Ferguson. So basically, Kings of Joburg is about these kings, you know, that run the streets of Joburg, comprising of two brothers. One is Simon and the other one is Mo. And they're also partners called Ayanda and Menzi. Ten years ago, the Kings of Joburg pulled off the most daring heist the armored African heist. And one of them had to take the fall for it and face 10 years in prison. It was Mohomotsi Masire, Simon Masire's younger brother, who selfishly decided to sacrifice himself for the sake of the Masire family, go to jail and had Simon take care of his own family. But then whilst being behind bars, the very opposite happened. None of the kings visited Mo in prison. Furthermore, Simon fell in love with his brother's wife and she divorced Mo to marry Simon, while Tlotlo became Simon's new son. So 10 years have passed and Mo is about to be released from prison and I'm telling you, it's hectic. The kings are threatened by the release. They're willing to do anything to protect themselves. What happens next, nobody could have imagined. Detective Jasmine pulled Mo outside when he got out of jail so that she could nail Simon. While fresh out of jail, Mo meets Pumzi, who becomes his new love interest. But little did he know, she was an undercover agent who was about to get the brothers. Right now we have Menzi, who sets a plan in motion to kill Mo once he comes out of jail, but accidentally kills his daughter, Neo! Now, Neo and Mo were estranged in that they just recently found each other, so he just caused another layer of issues within the project. So right around here, Detective Jasmine is busy putting the pieces of the puzzle together to link Simon to the heist when she gets killed by Mo. Mo promises to lead Mo the life of crime. Promises, but Simon, well, he plays a devious game to keep him in. But after Jasmine's murder, he can't escape who he believes he is. So now amidst all this chaos, right? The mermaid becomes thirstier and wants more blood, you know? And Simon begins to lose all his powers unless he sacrifices his own blood. Now, Simon never intended to sacrifice his son. He didn't want to. He would have preferred to sacrifice himself, but once magic turn comes up and causes a lot more issues, he has no choice but to sacrifice his son. And the person witnessing all of this is Mo Masire. And here you have it. Kings of Josie season one recap. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, go ahead and drop this video a comment, but that's not, but the video is not over. There's still more. Coming up, you'll see behind the scenes of the premiere of Kings of Josie, as well as Connie Ferguson speaking of her husband. Stay tuned. Remember to drop a comment, like, which helps this channel grow. Thanks for watching.
help but notice with regards to the um, Kings of Jersey although it's original content to the Ferguson films it has some elements of what Jackie Pomote talks about including Jay Israel as well do you guys agree comment down below and let us know and tears cheeks desperate for the dawn to bring back Dignity time and time again I relapse but love has never left me Perhaps I should have found a way to going to come out of this you know it was you know a lot of people didn't make it but he was strong he was healthy he was young we really thought um, he would beat this thing and we spoke about it all the time that baby we're gonna beat this thing you know and kept saying to me baby we're gonna beat this and it was a wee thing you know we're gonna beat this um, and then the next Friday he was discharged so he, he kind of got better. So he, he pneumonia. Um, so when his symptoms improved, they discharged him the, the following week, Friday after the third. Um, and that night, I mean, I think I'm, I'm I think I'm, I'm still traumatized from that night, uh, after he was discharged from, from hospital, because he, he was strong, so and, and he didn't he didn't like the hospital show. So to be honest, I think he also pushed to he felt strong enough to go home. Um, I don't know exactly how he felt, but you know he put on the front that he was strong enough to come home. Um, that was the longest night of my life. We'll add a link to the full interview as this was just a snippet. Um, you can still feel and tell the raw emotions that Connie Ferguson still has for her husband, the love of her life. And we are curious, what was the Zoom about? Was it even necessary to Zoom her in like that? It wasn't necessary because already her voice was already translating just how much she's still emotional even though it has been um, just a little bit over 18 months that Shona Ferguson passed away. 
May his soul continue to rest in peace. We also wish the success of Kings of Jersey as it streams um, beginning tomorrow, um, which is today at the time that you watch this video. Um, but you know, we're just so excited. We can't wait for it. Let us know if you want us to go live and we do a live review of the first season i'm saying oh not the first season the first uh series so the first show of season two so season one no oh, <laughs> season two episode one let us know if you want us to go live as we go through that and do like a, a watch party all right let us know and we'll try and see how we can set that up while keeping uh, YouTube happy and um, no copyright issues. So thank you so much. Your support has been um, appreciated. Please comment down below. Even if you have nothing to say, just leave an emoji. Let us know you're watching, um, which lets us know you're watching and also helps us to get to know who our audience is. And thank you so much for joining us today. Enjoy and Kings of Jersey season two. season 2. Don't forget to catch it only on Netflix on the 27th of January. One step forward, two steps backwards, yeah.